today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make a cuttable tree. So, like in Lumber Tycoon or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so, what you want to do is, you want to have a tool um, that might be animated. And you want to have something called Blade uh, that covers up most of the tool. And if that hits the part, it will be cut down. So, it needs to just cover up. This is our handle. Um, and this is our blade. So, remember that. Um, so, you need a something in your tool called blade for it to work. Alright. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a script into this block. Now this is gonna be your tree part and this is your model. It needs to be a part, okay? Or onion it or something. Union it. Like that. Not onion. Union. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is rename this to tree. And we have a base plate here, so we want to weld this to the base plate. Now insert a weld constraint um, inside of this one and rename that to um, tree to base joint, like that. Now go ahead and select part 0, which is the tree, and part 1 is the base plate, like that. And what we're going to do is... Um, that is it. So now we're gonna insert a script in here, and we're gonna script that. So we're gonna start by we're gonna start by simply doing um, script dot parent dot switch um, connect function. Um, we're gonna do um, ob obj. Let's go ahead and add this end here, and then we're gonna do um, add a comment. This is um, this is the function, and now we're gonna do if um, is you know, if obj dot name equals equals um, blade, which is the name of what's gonna be hit. It needs to be that one, or it will not work. Change this to whatever. It could be handle if it was a handle that you want it to be, or anything like that. Okay. So now we're gonna do. Then, so now we're going to add a comment. Um, the tool has been configured. Slash found. Found, kind of. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and copy that comment and put it here. Like that. And then we're going to do um, script.parent.tree base joint destroy like that and that is it there we go so let's go ahead and ch check this out if it works um now take the axe here and i'm gonna put it in star pack like that simple simple guys yeah very simple <laughs> all right so like that um and now we gotta go in and try and see if it works so that is simple um i'll put the tool in the description as well as the tree so here we have it, this is going to be used to cut down the tree. So as you see right here, we can't knock the tree over, it's impossible right now. Uh, as you see right here, so I can take this, cut the tree a few times, and it will knock over like a um, real... So let's go right here, that was simple, right? So we can go ahead and let's go ahead and take this and duplicate it a few times. Um, so we have a few to work with. Uh, I think it should work with multiple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a giant field. Maybe I should make the game here where you can also test it. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's pretty cool, right? Um, you can make giant fields with this. Um, where you can test it out, kind of. So there we are. We have a giant field now. Oh, um, that's kind of weird. There. Now we have a bunch of trees. Let's go ahead and test it out, guys. So we can just cut them down if we want to. It's already here. We can unlock them over. It's kind of cool, right? So it, it got to work. So it's really cool. Um, you can do this. You could add variables to configure uh, if you want them to hit more times. You see? Not being able to knock over. Take this. Hit it perfectly. There you go. Knocks over. So that is pretty cool. Um, we just gotta hit it a few times, uh, till it hits perfectly. There we go. You see right here, it breaks the constraint, gets it to be pulled over. 
Um. There we go. So you can see right here, I've put down a few trees and things. That's cool. Um. So I'm just gonna cut down the whole field quick. Um. So that's how you make a cuttable tree, guys. That's really cool. Oh, I think that one didn't get cut down. Um. It must have been the well then. That, yep. Um. Yeah. Alright. So the, it, it stood up like that. So that's kind of cool. But. Now, you can also just hit it like that. You can actually make it so the script enables every time the animation plays and things like that. So, this needs to be your tool, but I'm going to put this tool in the description for you to use. And let's see how much we've cut down. We can cut that much down. That's cool. Um, Alright, there we go. Two trees more. Down. Let's get that tree. And there we go. Second tree. Let's take that one down. Take that one down. Take that one down. And you see right here, we've taken down a lot of the tree forest thing, so that's cool. You could make a lot of cool stuff with this. Just make it a little bit better than this. This is really simple. You could, of course, I think you can make this a lot better than this. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and cut down the whole field. You could also add, of course, kind of a local player, uh, so you get stats every time. Uh, actually, let's make that quick. Um, let's add that. Alright. Um, I am not sure if I'm very good with this. Alright. Um. Uh. No. There you go. No, actually, no. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. You could add leader stats if it, you just need some remote events, I think. That's pretty much it, guys. Right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll post this in the description for you to use. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.